Hey guys, alright, so I'm here today with a breakfast video blog, but it's going to be a little bit different than how I usually do things, because usually I'm pretty happy and optimistic, and I've got a lot of good to share and a lot of positivity to share. Well, I still have a lot of positivity to share, I swear, but um, I also just need a second to be bummed, just to be bummed out and just to share with you that, that I'm bummed. But I also feel sort of like very optimistic still, but I'm still bummed, like the main thing is I'm bummed. <laughs> so I have a really hard time labeling things as good or bad, but basically starting on Thursday, a lot of just bad, just bad things happened in this like rapid procession, just back to back and overlapping. I'm trying not to be bitter about anything. I'm trying to move on from everything, but it's still overwhelming when a lot of bad things happen all at once. Just like, just like a package deal, you know, it's just, anyway. So I don't want to go into too much, uh, too many details about, about most of what happened. So I will just say this is that basically what, what I experienced in the course of like six hours was traveling to another state by train to visit a friend and we made plans. Like I wasn't going to do it unless I thought the plans were like pretty legit because you know, that's time and money and like. It's good to know things are legit. So anyway, the moment I get, <laughs> the moment I set foot in the city that is not mine, <laughs> by any means, um, I realized like, you know, those plans were entirely gone. So now I'm alone and it's sunset in Manhattan and I'm like, dang, well good thing I had a backup plan, you know? So thankfully my backup plan was ended up being a great plan, but I was just wandering around the city for a bit just thinking like, do I trust myself because I trusted this person? Do I not trust this person? Like, what was going on? Like, just so lost, just so uncertain, and just feeling really uncertain about it. So I was kind of in pieces a bit, just confused, just very, very profoundly confused and disappointed and let down. Anyway, went and saw my friend, like my other friend, uh, my friend Will, and uh, that was great. That was, that was really nice to be around him. And so like I called my friends at home like while I was walking around or you know and just let him know I was like hey here's what happened like totally totally ditched like you know now I'm in the city like what do I do and and they're just you know full support you know they're like don't worry like can't wait for you to get home like we'll have a great time like we got the oh hello's concert tomorrow don't worry like we'll hug you we'll cuddle you to bits and pieces I'll be okay so you know I'm like all right all right I can't wait to get home I just want to go home then overnight um something happened at home and all, all my friends and family and everybody's healthy and fine, nobody is physically hurt, but just something happened where I really, really, really should have been here. I, I know that I couldn't and no one was gonna know this was gonna happen, but I just feel like I should have been here. I should not have been in New York for that night. I should have been in Boston. I should have been there for the people that are always there for me, even though I didn't know they were gonna need me. I just, I just wanted to be here and to be able to comfort the world that is my life and, you know, all together. And so I wake up on Friday to realize that all that had gone down. And so I was like, wow, I just can't wait to get home. <laughs> I just cannot wait to go home because this is just too much. It was just too much, way too much. So um, we get back home and, you know, I thankfully can, you know, be in the arms of my friends and we go to this concert and we have a great time. And, you know, I'm starting to feel a little better about things, even though things are still really, excuse my language, but shitty. Things are really shitty. It's just, just bad. Like, it's just so bad, all of it. But, so, you know, that aside, we, you know, have a good time at the concert. And, um, and then I had this dream uh, on Friday night where, basically, I was... Like, first of all, I only slept for like an hour. My insomnia is coming back, and I really don't like that. That's another bad thing that's happening, because that makes me less productive, less able to do stuff. I'm trying to work on my album, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so <laughs> basically, I only slept for like an hour. And in that hour, I had this vivid nightmare, of course, like a very vivid, realistic nightmare. And it was this like black, dark, stormy ocean whirlpool thing. And, and there was like this jagged rock cliff thing. And like, I was in it, and it was cold water, and it was just like the riptide was like pulling me, and just... Some stuff happened before that, but basically, ultimately, right before I woke up, I remembered this, and I'm just, I was just trying to pull myself out of it, and so finally, like, I, like, my last, like, attempt, I, like, 
grabbed onto the rocks and pulled my body out of it, just like pulled myself out of this ocean. And the moment I did that, I woke up and I woke up and I was physically and emotionally exhausted. And I just didn't even like, it was just overwhelming. I was like, is that my life right now? Like literally, like, is that how close I was to like having even more bad things happen? Or like, is this like, wow, like all this bad stuff happened and this is like the depression pit that you're gonna fall into. And I'm just like, man, I just don't, oh God, it was just a terrible dream. So anyway, figured every day we gotta keep moving forward because what's done is done. These bad things already happen. And so, you know, um, last night, all of a sudden, like I'm just sitting there with Tiger and um, waiting for a friend to come over. And uh, I hear this, this, this alarm go off outside. And then all of a sudden I hear someone go, we really should step back. That is definitely a fire. So I look out my window and like, of course, like the Indian restaurant that just renovated and just reopened like two weeks ago is on fire. You know, the one that's below us that like is literally less than 10 yards from our apartment below us with their fan that has the fire coming out of it. So it's just basically we go down there, self evacuated, um, had to figure out if we need to go get the animals, everything, if we need to go rescue the cats and stuff. It is a total it's just it's just bad it was just so sad and then it like just seeing the owner just bawling her eyes out because obviously didn't intend to have a fire and just watching these bad things happen to good people like my mom and i just went to that restaurant just like the other day and they were fantastic and they were so nice and they were so kind and they were so proud of their food and their food was amazing and just like these are good people and this bad thing happened to them and i just feel like that i'm like I feel like a good person. I don't know why that this bad thing had to happen to me. I don't, like my friends and family and we're all good people. I don't know why this bad thing had to happen to, to us. Like I just, you know, exhausted by it. So <clears throat> that being said, when our friend came over later, um, she had cheesecake and that was really nice. And she really cheered us up and distracted us from all the things that we have to move forward from. And, um, and then at the same time, I guess the Indian restaurant was serving food again by the end of the night. So maybe that's a good sign. And so I just, <laughs> so last night I slept for maybe, maybe like an hour or two. I think I slept just like right before sunrise, sometime between three and five. And it was funny because I had said to my friends last night, I really hope that that black whirlpool dream is not, you know, a recurring dream because I don't want to deal with that like that's depressing as heck and I woke up being like I like yesterday I literally lived my life like you know what I'm just gonna be a 23 year old boy and just drop every single thing that I was gonna do every single project that I'm working on every single plan and just see if I can survive as a human through this day so basically I was like if this dream happens again that's probably what my days are gonna be like for a bit just being like can I just be a human being and not <laughs> just not like anything else just exist and breathe and make it through well anyway so it turns out the dream of course it came back of course it came back but it's something wired in me you know to not be mad and to not look at the world in a negative way and to be optimistic i think it's honestly something wired in me because this dream came back and instead of me pulling myself out of that dark stormy pit I was sitting up at the top of the cliff looking down at it, just looking down at it from afar, able to fully see it. And so I woke up this morning and realized that that's a good sign, is that while things might be like really terrible, that's that. That's that right there. Like this is, this is not bad. This is good. This is going to make it through. <laughs> We're all gonna make it through. And I just think that Sometimes things happen for a reason and sometimes they just don't. Sometimes they just don't. There's absolutely no reason that any of these things had to happen. And there's more than just those things, but it's just anything. It's, there's no reason that those things had to happen, but they did. And so now it's time to move forward and digest all that and figure out, you know, what the next steps are. And I'm optimistic about it. I'm very forgiving about it. I wish I weren't so forgiving about it, but I am. And I think that overall, it's gonna be, it's gonna be all right. But let's just say things got, things got a little, a little bad. Totally downplaying this too, by the way, but a little bad. Things were a little bad. They're very bad. They're just very bad. But I'm okay. We're all okay. Everything is gonna be just fine. And I honestly believe that. I wouldn't say that if I didn't believe it. I wouldn't be making a video right now 
if I was sunk in this depressive hole. So honestly, it's gonna be all right. Everything's gonna be, be good. And so I will be back soon. I'll get back to my projects. I just need a little bit of time to, to digest and like I said, just be a human being. And um, even with all like the disappointing things that happen, I still have a lot of faith in this world. I still really do. Sometimes bad things happen to good people and I think that that's just the way it goes, you know? But that happened and moving forward. So let me just play for you a little bit of music and uh, and then I'm gonna move on to my projects. I'm feeling kind of motivated now, honestly, and move back to my projects, so. Anyway, I just wanna say that even though things were not so good the past few days, totally all right in my soul. I hope you are too. I hope everyone else had a better like 36 hours <laughs> than uh, we did on this end. But you know what? The only thing we can do now is make make the future better. So let's do that. And uh, yeah, <laughs> drink a lot of coffee. So it's just a quick little snippet of The Enemy by Andrew Bell. You should definitely go listen to this song. It uh, It's a really just great album overall. So just a little bit of that. Help me through a couple of days. And don't try to follow me, I will hold you down if I could. Make you the enemy, I would let you down. And don't try to follow me, I will hold you down if I could. And make you the enemy, I would let you down. I hold you down, I hold you down, I hold you. I hold you down, I hold you down. I hold you down, I hold you down, I hold you. I hold you down, I hold you down.